What's going on guys? Before I start this video, a lot of folks are gonna ask during this video if I could feature any specific one of them in a review. So all the units you're gonna look at today, I've already walked through in terms of floor plan layout. So if you're looking for a specific one, definitely check out some of my previous videos and you'll kind of see a walkthrough video of them. This specific video is to address an entirely different topic and one that I think some people are interested in, especially if they're getting into RVing. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right guys, we're gonna talk about exterior RV graphics. There's a lot to talk about here because there are so many different types of exterior technologies from the type of gel coat and fiberglass they use to the type of finish, whether it's a vinyl stick-on graphic or it's a full body paint graphic, as well as the direction manufacturers have gone in terms of graphics. When you look at this brand new Voltage, which I think looks stunning, this is a full body paint unit, which means it's actual automotive painted finish. It looks amazing. I love this edgy look to it. I love how the Voltage logo is kind of angled with the graphics. This to me is a beautiful, beautiful finish on an RV. And I love this. Whereas kind of a different take on it would be this Redwood right next to us. Again, full body paint, beautiful, but it has more of those swooping lines. And this isn't really the traditional swooping line you would typically see on some RVs, right? Some RVs have these little swoops everywhere. This one's kind of this flowing, kind of a wave design. This is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to me as well. You can instantly see what full body paint does to the overall look of an RV, whether it's a motorhome or whether it's a towable. Just full body paint makes it really stand out. Now, a lot of people wonder, is there a benefit to full body paint over vinyl graphics? Because vinyl graphics have come a long way and they're a lot more resilient to UV and things like that than they used to be in the past. So the benefit to full body paint is it's generally gonna be a more durable finish in the long run. It's usually gonna hold up better in the long run to the harsh environment of an RV sitting out in a storage facility or at a campground for an extended period of time. So after 10 years, a full body paint unit in many ways can still look brand new as long as you cleaned it and you took care of it. Whereas vinyl graphics won't look that way after 10 years. Typically they'll start to look faded. They'll start to look a little bit dingy. Now this unit right here, this is a cyclone and this is more of that traditional look where you got a lot of these little swoops there's no real logic to how the swoops look and they've used the vinyl graphics over this finish right here so this is your actual sidewall finish this is graphics this is graphics and anywhere you see this color is the actual color they got this panel in when they got it so everything they laid on top of it has to kind of blend in with that this is a vinyl graphic on top of a gel coat finish so the graphics themselves are gonna have a shelf life, right? How long are they gonna last with UV sun beating down on them? How long are they gonna last with the elements, snow, rain, things like that, acid? And the actual gel coat itself has a finish and it's not a painted finish, it's a dyed finish, which means over time it can fade and it can start to give you kind of a weird kind of matted look to it. So whether or not you're looking at this unit or this unit, which has a white gel coat with graphics laid on top of it and you know this is a, another voltage but it's a slightly less expensive unit you are definitely going to have more maintenance in the long run when it comes to a sidewall like this versus a full body paint sidewall like these units now again i'd love to know what's your feedback let's look at this grand design reflection 150 series you can see all the swoops right this has been kind of traditional to the rv industry forever they love putting swoops and these types of designs on RVs. And more recently, have you seen them go to a more edgier look like you're seeing on this Voltage right here, like you see on the Brookstone we have, and you see on this full body paint Voltage over there. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because manufacturers actually wanna know. They wanna know what you want graphics to look like. If you look at this Redwood, you can still see some of the swoops. The swoops coming from the front. It's kind of this in motion kind of look to it. See, I think this looks better. I definitely like the look of this over the look of the reflection with these C-shaped swoops going on throughout it. This is a little bit more minimalistic in my opinion. Do you wanna see more graphics on these? Do you wanna see less graphics? What do you ideally wanna see if manufacturers took your advice? Now this Grand Design Momentum right here 
is also vinyl graphics. It's not full body paint, even though they offer the momentum with full body paint, but you can see they've gone to that edgier look as well. So it's got more squared off edginess to it than again, your traditional swooped look design. What do you think? And then you look at a unit like the Silver Star, which again has a lot of these swoops, a lot of these small little edgy pieces, some more curved angles to it. And then over here, you can see this Cyclone, again, very traditional in terms of what the graphics look like on the side. Nothing, in my opinion, that really stands out other than it looks like a lot of what you've typically seen in the industry. Now right here is a DRV. So DRV pretty much is exclusive full body paint, beautiful paint job. It definitely is high quality in terms of finish. Their idea of how the lines look and everything is very class A motorhome. But again, it's a lot of swoops, a lot of curves. Would you prefer an edgier look or do you like this more traditional look that you're seeing on this specific DRV? And then we got this big horn right here, which is also full body paint. A lot of people wonder why they don't paint the sides of the slides here. Well, in most cases, most manufacturers don't. They'll either go with a white side or they'll go with a black side. If they go with a white side, it's usually because they want to reject some of that heat that black absorbs and brings in. So it's more for cooling purposes. It doesn't look as good as going with a black wall right there. But again, you're kind of weighing the difference between efficiency versus look. Would you prefer a black sidewall right here to kind of blend in a little bit more? What's your opinion there? However, when you look at the finish on this, again, very class A motorhome, big swoop right here, a lot of curves to it, full body paint. It is really beautiful, but at the same time though, do you prefer the edginess of like the first voltage we saw, or do you prefer a lot of these swoops? Now let's go take a look at a Van Lee Beacon real quick so you can see what they do. Okay, so here is a Van Lee Beacon. You can see a lot of the swoops, very, very reminiscent of what you would see on Tiffin motorhomes. It's a beautiful finish. It looks absolutely fantastic overall. But again, would you rather see more edgier designs or do you like the swoops? Do you like the swirls? Full body paint versus something like this Texan next to it, which mixes some of these edgier lines with some of the swoops, swirls, and graphics. This to me isn't overly appealing. I really don't care for this overall look. I think it looks kind of, I don't know, it looks too busy while at the same time it looks cluttered in my opinion. I would like more minimalist. I think they probably could have used far less stickers on this and it would have looked probably much better. Maybe a few little arrow lines coming back. That's one thing that we tried to do with our new Brookstone is we wanted to make it a little bit more minimalistic on the outside while still retaining that edginess of a few patterns kind of drawn out to I guess give you that that newer sleeker look to it but again what are your thoughts do you feel they could have eliminated some of these stickers gone with something a little bit more basic that would have been a bit more appealing plus you can see how like this graphic doesn't really line up with anything over here kind of makes it look a bit incomplete in my opinion so what about this alliance unit i'm personally not a big fan of the graphics alliance uses i think that's the one area that i would probably do something different to me, it's kind of this mixture of edgy as well as kind of traditional, but I, I think they could have done something a little bit bolder with less graphics. But what's your opinion? It just looks too plain for me. It looks plain, a little bit outdated overall. Just like the first one we showed, this thing is huge, but I love the graphics on this. I think they nailed it. Of all the units you've seen in this video, which one do you like the best? Which one do you like the least? And what do you think they all could have done a little bit different? Please leave a comment below. I would love your feedback, but more importantly, the RV industry would love your feedback because graphics are so subjective. It's, you know, a few people sitting in a room wondering what they should do, sending it to a graphics company, getting their feedback, and then ultimately going with something that probably had no type of like real serious review process before they looked at it. And just like a YouTube video, I mean, this is the thumbnail for this RV. This is the thumbnail for this fifth wheel, right? This is what you see from the outside when you pull onto a dealership lot. So they should really make the best possible effort to make it stand out and look good. My opinion, this is absolutely beautiful. If our new Brookstone was this exact color scheme, I would have absolutely loved it even more. But that is gorgeous. I'd love your opinion. What do you guys think? Again, this is gonna be directly relayed to the RV industry, so they get feedback directly from you all, the buyers, the people who actually walk these lots 
and look at these units. Do you love the way this looks? Do you love the little accent colors that they've put in? The reflection to me, very boring. This uh, Yukon, very boring. You know, a lot of interesting things to look at. Here's another Alliance unit. Not a big fan of the graphics on it. I like pretty much everything else Alliance does, just not a fan of the graphics. Anyways, guys, please let me know. Please leave a comment. Make it detailed. Let them know what you think. Coming up to this Redwood right here. Very interesting graphic scheme. Kind of a mixture of all the different elements. It's very clean looking because of the whole white background to it. Redwood, in my opinion, has always made a very, very good looking coach without having to go crazy with graphics. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.